I hate to be dwelling on the more, but I understand yeah. you've planned your funeral. Oh, I, I have. I would and like it's going to be wonderful. Do book. You don't have to. Well, I mean, you have to get there early. What's the plan? Be... <laughs> well, the plan is I'm going to have a Haydn Mass in deference to my Catholic ancestry. Yes. I'm going to have two wonderful Victorian Protestant films in deference to my um, Protestant ancestry. I'm going to have vested clergy, incense. I'm, I'm going to make the speech myself. I've recorded it professionally. Already? Yes. And it's going to come from the coffin. I was thinking of a hologram <laughs> because I thought that would be rather fun, you know, give people a bit of a jolt if they saw me suddenly turn up in the pulpit and say, hello! <laughs> and there would be a stampede. What's the speech but, about? Can you give us yes, an insight? Yes, the speech is about my religious beliefs because okay. they're very important to me. Yeah. Uh, and the, 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 the thing that kept me going through some very turbulent times and I think now we tend to have lost that and we've lost all our roots and all the things that we cherished and we believed in have gone. Do you want your funeral to be a celebration? Is that the point? Absolute yeah, celebration. Okay. And then we're going down the country to where my ancestors lived for 2,000 years. Uh, you know, it's an ancient Gaelic family. Yes. And I'm very proud of it and proud of them in their wealth when they were wealthy, in their poverty when they managed to drive themselves into poverty and in their goodness to the people and they're still remembered for that. And you've chosen a soundtrack to, chosen, to bring you down. I've got my grave what, and everything what's else. What's the song to take you down ultimately? Is there a last... The Cooling. The Cooling. Which I think is beautiful. And then they're going off to uh, a country house hotel that used to belong to an ancestor of mine. It was built by him. And the music as they come up to drive is going to be always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> you know, but they're saying, if I can say it at this time of night, it's something like, you know, uh, when you have to kick the bucket, just say, fuck it, life's a crock of shit. <laughs> <laughs>